Business at Katuna border between Uganda and Rwanda remains low two weeks after Rwanda opened the border. That is a preferred route by transporters from Uganda and beyond into Chigali. Uganda is still taking advantage of the slow business to finish paving its section of the border point that has been overhauled. Although the number of trucks entering in and from Rwanda increased, the number of people crossing is still low, snarling the business at this once booming border. They could come to our place, they buy things, they go to Rwanda and they sell it. And we go to their place, they also sell to us, we come and sell to our, our customers and we get money. But for now, there is no much, there is nothing that is going on. Rwanda set a condition that ministers from both countries harmonize the COVID-19 measures at the border points. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Okero Oriem, has told NTV that Rwanda remains stuck to its guns and wants the earlier conditions set adhered to. Uh, the fact that uh, we they have the uh, people who are uh, Rwandese who flee Rwanda and use Uganda as a base uh, to, uh, you know, to fight the government of the day in, 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 in Rwanda. They talk of uh, cases of city officers and army officers who flee here and, uh, and are entertained by our, our security apparatus and security people. That was some of the reasons, one or two of the reasons that they the raised. Then there was something about also rights of run airlines to fly to, to, to London. Now, we, I, we are happy as government. Re-echoing the president's proposal to amend the law that would treat suspects from Rwanda as criminals is yet another process that government wants to consider, despite the long time frames that come with it. If a Rwandese fly, flees here and we feel that it's causing a disharmony between Uganda and uh, Rwanda, we normally f uh, ask a third country for them to be uh, re relocated. And that's what we've been doing. But I think uh, the Rwandese feel that that is a soft or, 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 or a postponement of the problem. And there's need for uh, these people to see, uh, be seen as criminals and arrested and dealt with. So we're working around the clock. Uh, uh, at, at the moment, the, 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 the wheels of the law moves very slow. And the wheels of um, bureaucracy even move slower. But I can assure Ugandans that uh, we are working in, as Minister of Foreign Affairs with the security and of, of the president to see how we can move these things and, and, and get the borders open 100% as it used to be. In the recent past, the president made reshuffles in the security apparatus as one of extending an olive branch to Rwanda that accused some of the figureheads of harboring the wrong elements from Rwanda. However, Okello believes that the president made changes after considering many factors but warned that the country can't bow to pressure from Rwanda to further make reshuffles in security agencies. It is very dangerous, very, very dangerous. If you, uh, you restructure the, the, uh, the, the leadership of your army based on the wishes and the whims of, of another country, because it, it can result you weaken the army. You might have the best officers at the top, and if you have the best officers at the top and you want to appease uh, <laughs> a neighboring country or you want to appease a third country, then you might find you have, you're weakened the, the structure of the army. According to the Kabal RDC, truck drivers who ply the Katuna border road are complaining about the high fees on the COVID-19 test, which is a mandatory requirement for anyone to enter into Uganda. These truck drivers have been uh, complaining. Uh, when they cross from, uh, from Rwanda, they are, uh, they are tested using RDP, and it is around... Yeah, you, it is, uh, the, the charges there is equivalent to Uganda shillings 20,000. We recognize PCR tests. So these people are again subjected to uh, undergo a PCR test. And our, our charges here uh, is 100,000 shillings. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Okelo Riem, argues that the wheels of amending the law take long while the bureaucracies even take longer as the country considers coming up with a law that would treat suspects who flee Rwanda into Uganda as such. And this is in a bid to end a protracted row between the two countries. And if that doesn't happen, it will take longer than expected to see Rwandans freely crossing to Uganda and out. Sudir Yarhanga, NTV.